Good morning, everybody. I'm looking a little bit on the tired side, should I say. Today, uh, I am doing a highly requested video. I'm basically showing you what happens in my day-to-day -day life, my routine, um, because it very much is that it's a routine. Like, I have to have a routine in place every single day. Obviously, don't stick to, like, the exact same thing every day, but there's certain staples in my everyday life that kind of I not have to do, but it helps me to stay in routine. Really helps me, massively helps me, helps me stay on track and just helps me stay physically healthy and mentally healthy when I have a set routine. Every single morning, I'll come and sit down with my coffee. I'll read a page of my book. Uh, and it's usually a book to do with some sort of like mental mindfulness, etc., and things like that, just because I find it helps me reading something like that every morning. Um, and after I've read a page, I will then open up my book, write what I've... Hello? Hello, you. Are you come to say hello? So I do a page a day and I just literally list what I've got to do that day. Then I'll sometimes write little things like be positive today, um, have a great day. I never used to be like this, by the way. I was never this organised. I never wrote anything down. But since I have, it's just massively helped me. I'll tune back in when I'm having my breakfast and I'll explain my breakfast to you. Um, I had the same breakfast every single morning. Got porridge oats, a banana... Uh, I'm going to get some strawberries and then also I've got peanut butter and Nutella. Coconut milk in. Um, so whilst I'm waiting for my breakfast, I have to inject myself. This one is my 24 hour insulin that I need to inject and then this is to cover the food that I'm about to eat. Okay, so that is my breakfast. I've got porridge, oats with a tiny bit of Nutella in that I've mixed. Um, half a banana, that's probably equivalent to half a banana, I don't have a full banana. Um, some strawberries and then some peanut, peanut butter, some porridge underneath. I also then have um, a women's best protein shake, uh, just because I want to get protein in on my breakfast. At the minute I'm really into a sweet breakfast. Um, so I just find it easier to put my protein with something sweet also. Just personal preference to add is I don't actually calorie count. I used to, um, but it's hard enough as it is anyway. Like there's numbers all around me as it is with my diabetes. I would completely recommend calorie counting if you really don't know what's in your food. But purely because I am diabetic, I roughly know like carbohydrates of what's in each, in each food. So roughly in my breakfast now i'm gonna say there's about 500 to 600 calories now i know that's a lot for a breakfast well i personally think that's a lot 600 calories for a breakfast but i like to get my calories in in the morning i like to have a big breakfast because then i'm about to go and do my workout little desk this is my little setup my little tub chair um i've got my to-do list and my diary thank you to andy's sister becky for buying me it um, and my laptop, cute little flowers. Uh, yes, yeah, time to get some work done. Before I go to the gym, I have two things that I take with me. Not every single time, um, but most days I take them with me. So, in my little cupboard of goodies here, I have all my, uh, my BCAA amino acids, uh, and then I also have my amino and energy. Uh, then I've also got my iso whey protein, which I'll be taking as well. I've got grape in the amino energy as well, so we're going to go for this one today. After I finish my workout, when I get into the car, um, I like to kind of have some protein straight after my workout. Whether it's straight after you work out, before you work out, um, I believe it doesn't actually matter. But I just think it's something nice for me to have after my workout. I just prefer to do it. Again, it's part of our routine and I do well with routine. Quick and easy, after I've finished, I get into the car and it's all in the compartment there and I just tip it in and it's ready for me to have. I'm going to have two scoops of this in here. Wait about 20-30 minutes and then go for my workout just to make sure that 
This is kicked in a little bit. Pre-workout I'm gonna have now, protein shake for after. They are the only two supplements that I take. That was an intense workout. Uh, I wasn't able to record myself uh, just because of the no camera policy, but I feel really like good about myself. So I was walking out and um, this gentleman who was also in the gym with me, we were walking out together and he goes, who uh, taught you all your exercises? And I turned around and I thought, is he speaking to me? And he, I went, um, I said, myself really. I said, I just did like a lot of research into it. I said, a lot, watched a lot of videos. It's like, you do a lot of technical exercises. Like, it's really good. Like, good on you. And I was like, thanks. I was just like, you know, PT, how do you ready? No, I'm joking, not really. Anyway, get me powder, get me a cup of water and go, bang. Okay, I should probably drink it now. And that's it really, my name's John and I'm gone. Technical exercise. <laughs> I've just accidentally pressed on my doorbell button which means now it, my doorbell has changed and I've got to go through all the goddamn sounds again to get back to the one that I want. <sighs> on the menu today for lunch and this usually doesn't change much Three egg whites, avocado smashed, not stirred. Now, I like to do my scrambled eggs the lazy way. So I just whisk them and then I, I pop them in the microwave. Gonna inject some more insulin into my body. Somebody asked me the other day, do I feel it when I put the needle in now? The truth is, no, because you're kind of sticking it into the <laughs> I put that in my mouth and it was insulin I could taste insulin in my mouth am I gonna die? my eggs! my toast! oh no! Oh, no! this is all going wrong! I don't like wasting food but I can't eat that I just like to say try to drink 4 litres a day because water intake is very important especially if you're lifting weights Two pieces of brown toast, three egg whites, avocado with lemon juice, salt and pepper. That's me one. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be eating for my dinner later, but also, also show you my meal prep. Basically, you'll see in every meal prep, I'll have a good source of carbs, I'll have a good amount of veg, and then I'll also have some protein. In there, because I've got no protein at the minute, I'd uh, probably add a tin of tuna in there, so that would be protein done. This one, these were also from Aldi. They're called falafels. I think I'm saying that right, falafels, which is a good source of carbohydrates because you've got your chickpeas in there. Look absolutely ming at the minute, but I've got two and a half corn sausages, and that's my protein. And then here, same again, the olive and sun-dried tomato quinoa, prawns that um, I cooked in a bit of Thai green curry paste. Really simple, easy stuff, and honestly, it took me no longer than an hour, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then all I've got to prep is for Friday and Saturday. We've got my bagels, wholemeal bread, um, corn sausages, low corn, corn mints, corn chicken pieces, uh, these veggie burgers, turkey mints, love that, that's only 2% fat turkey mints, tuna steaks, chicken breast, rice cakes, these are absolutely delicious I and mean, they're only, only 90 calories. Protein bar, I like to snack on them. So as you can see, I don't really have any bad stuff in my cupboards for me to be tempted by. And I feel like if you do go out and buy bad things, you're gonna end up eating it if you're like me, you've got no willpower. You can work out as much as you want, but if you ain't got your diet right, you're buggered. Get yourself some containers. And it's just easy, easy stuff, honestly. Meal prep, do it. I've just got in. It's like gone half nine, it's about quarter to ten. I'm so tired. It is long days for me, I'm not gonna lie, like very long days.
and I make sure that all the washing up is done because I don't like going to bed with washing up knowing that I've got to do it in the morning. I just feel like my brain can't relax. But kindly, my boyfriend is staying with me at the minute because he's working down here and he's done all the washing up. <laughs> I don't know if I explained this when I was doing my breakfast this morning, but before I go to bed, I set up my breakfast. I don't know why, it's just one of those things that I like to do. It makes me feel organized. Some people like to put out their outfits, their work outfits out the next morning or their gym outfits out the next morning. Me, personally, it's breakfast. I always put my cup out there waiting for me. I'm gonna go and grab a shower, unwind, because it takes some time. Um, and I might have a little snack before I go to bed. I don't know what yet. I don't know whether I'm feeling some like Greek yogurt um, or like a little protein bar or some rice cakes with peanut butter. That's usually kind of like my go-to snacks. And then I like to be in bed by 11 o'clock and no later, ready to wake up again at quarter to seven, seven o'clock again tomorrow. So that is like my set routine and tomorrow will be more or less the same. I'll go to the gym, I'll take my supplements, which is my pre-workout and my um, protein powder. I'll then come home, I'll make my lunch. Um, and then I'll do some more work. And then I'll go to work and do some teaching, some dance teaching, um, take my lunch with me because it's already pre-made in the fridge, come home, have a shower, feed the boys. So, so, do you see what I mean? It's just like a routine that I'm in and it's, and it's really, it's doing really good for me. I just want to say if you've made it this far in the video, please do let me know in the comment section below because I just felt like people would have got bored by now and switched off. And one thing I did miss off is that if you want to know how many times I train a week, uh, I train five to six times a week and I do two lower body, two upper body and then on the fifth one I like to do just a, like a really big sweaty workout or some sort of hip session or something like that to go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Good night. Bye bye.